Hey everybody, welcome to Bucketman Scouting, aka Coach Bucketman. In today's video, I'm going to do an all-22 film breakdown on Patrick Sertan. And the reason I'm doing an all-22 film breakdown on Patrick Sertan is because he got the most money for a cornerback in NFL history. He got the highest paid contract in NFL history. I don't think he deserved it, in my personal opinion, because he really hasn't done anything to deserve it, quite frank with you. The cornerback game is neutered. He's no Champ Bailey. He's no Darrell Rebus. He's no Louis Wright. He's none of those players. Champ Bailey made a more in, had more of an impact than Patrick Sertan does for the Walmart Generals, in my personal opinion. And I just I find it disgusting that Walmart General fans are saying Patrick Sertan is better than Champ Bailey. I, I don't want to hear that bullshit because I can go and show all 22 film of Champ Bailey making an impact playing slot corner, right side corner, left side corner, boundary corner. It doesn't matter. This guy was all over the football field when I was watching him play uh, back in the day. So Patrick Sertan, again, is playing in an NFL where it's neutered, it's flag football. The game is pussified these days. So I want to show everybody why I believe Patrick Sertan's overrated. He's going to go against one of the better receivers in the NFL, a top five receiver in my personal opinion, and DJ Moore, one of the better route runners. And I said coming out of college that Patrick Sertan struggles against elite route runners. If he was a great corner, he would be able to match elite route runners but again he struggles with the underneath routes as well i said that coming out of uh alabama and also i remember when the walmart generals wanted to put him in slot they also drafted him over rashawn slater in which i believe rashawn slater was a better overall prospect in my personal opinion because i believe the left tackle position is more important than the cornerback position so let's get into this film breakdown so you have patrick sertan playing man to man on this play right here and again, if Patrick Sertan was so great, then why do offense coordinators, so on and so forth, attack his side of the field? I remember when Champ Bailey was on the Denver Broncos, the real Denver Broncos, not this version of the Denver Broncos. This is the Walmart Generals. I remember when quarterbacks and also offense coordinators would just avoid him like the play because he was that of an elite player. And that's why Pat Bowen and them traded for him and got rid of Clinton Portis. So here it is right here. And again, I, I'm i not going to be like these other Walmart General content creators. Here at Bucket Man Scouting, we show the All-22. We're not just going to have a a screenshot of Patrick Sertan and tell you how great he is because of what the stats say. The coach's film is more important than the stats. So here he is right here, Patrick Sertan, man-to-man -man right here against DJ Moore. Again, that's clear holding right there. That should have been flagged, in my personal opinion, for it. Again, and also, it just also shows how poor these linebackers are for the Walmart Generals. <clears throat> but again, that, that's clearly a hold by Patrick Sertan right here. And this is the first play of the game. That, that should have been a holding call, in my personal opinion. He got away with one there. Again, look how poor these linebackers are. Delaney Turner yell, thank God he got cut because he sucks. And I said coming out of the draft, he sucked. All right, here we go. Next play for the... Okay, here we go. Patrick Zertan is on this side of the field playing boundary corner. Again, look how far off he's playing. I would be attacking him. Again, look how far these corners play off. This is DJ Moore right here, bottom of your screen. Look how crisp he runs that route. Boom. I don't see a lot of Walmart general receivers running that route. Again, look how far off these corners are playing. Okay, next play, Patrick Sertan, top of your screen, let go far off, he's playing. Receiver comes in motion. See what he does in the run game here. Okay, 
You know, the one corner that I think is one of the most underrated corners, slot corners in the league, is number 29 here. I think he's a really solid slot corner. But he plays on the Walmart Generals, so they're going to kill him because their player development isn't that great. All right, here's Patrick Zertan right here going against the running back, Khalil Herbert, number 24 at the bottom of your screen. Look how far off he's playing again. I would attack him again. And there's also another thing I want to show here. Watch Nick Burrito go untouched. That's how he makes his plays, too. Nick Burrito. Look, he goes untouched. Makes a play. Funny how that works when you pull up the coach's film and you actually see what uh, Chopped Liver, myself, and Bubble Man talk about. All right, here's Patrick Sertan going on the uh, other side here. Look how, again, I would attack him here. Look how far off he's playing. He's playing 10 yards off. Playing 10 yards off here. Attack him, DJ Moore. Booyah. Again, if that was an elite corner, again, if this guy was an elite corner, he would have broke on the football with ease. Watch. Look how slow he is to break right there. Look. Booyah. And again, what did I say? If your corner's playing this far off, I'd be attacking him. Look how far off these corners are playing. I'm making a point in this film breakdown. The point is he struggles with elite route runners. I've been saying that ever since he came out of Alabama. It's not me hating on Patrick Sertan. I just think that he's overrated by this front office and this fan base. That doesn't that doesn't know the game of football. They just don't know the game of football. Again, Champ Bailey would have instinct, instinctually read that, broke on that, and caused an, he would have intercepted the ball, and or he would have caused a pass breakup, a PBU. Or he would have never played 10 yards off because Champ Bailey was just that elite of a player. He was an actual Hall of Famer. Again, I think that, in my personal opinion, that Patrick Sertan is a better version of Antonio Cromartie. And also, he's no Richard Sherman as well. So, I just want to point that out. Richard Sherman would have... Even if Richard Sherman was playing this far off, he would have instinctually got that. And again, he doesn't even tackle the guy either. His tackling technique on this play is is absolutely horrific look at this that again no one on the walmart journals are going to show you that and i don't dj moore ate his lunch patrick sertan's lunch patrick sertan had no answer for dj moore in this game and i tried telling you that even when dj moore is in carolina he had no they <laughs> had no, had no problem dj moore going against patrick sertan Pat, dj moore is just that good of a player and again I'm comparing him to the elite receivers in the NFL. So, just my God. And he gets blown up by number 19 here at the end of it, St. Brown. Again, it's just tackling angle. It just... I remember watching corners back in the early 2000s, mid-2000s, where they were actually making instinctual plays on those. And they these... It's just... This game is so pussified. It just makes me sick. And you got fans fucking, yeah, defending that shit. All right, so the offense for the Walmart Generals. It's all Russell Wilson's fault. Don't talk about the players around Russell Wilson. It's all his fault. Get through the offense series here. All right, next series for the Chicago Bears versus the overrated Walmart Generals defense. Those 48 sacks, right? Okay, yeah, nine years. All right, man-to-man -man coverage at the top of your screen right here. Pistol set formation. A little run play. Again, I just, I don't understand 
Patrick Sertan half asses it. They're clearly running on his side of the field. And again, I, I don't know. It just... You could have made a play there. Clearly, the guys running at you can't gang tackle the guy. Just I don't like players that just lackadaisical. I just don't like that. I like players going all out that put their heart on the field. Balls to the walls. But he got his money, right? He got his money. Patrick Sertan got his money. So, top of your screen again. Again, I would attack him. Look how far he's playing off. Here he is, top of your screen. Patrick Zertan. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Pistol set. There he is, attacking him again. Attacking who? They're not tar targeting Damari Mathis, who's going against DJ Moore. Booyah. And <laughs> DJ Moore's wide open, too. But again, Oh, imagine that. They're targeting his side of the field. Again, if this guy was Champ Bailey, they would avoid it and it went to DJ Moore here. My God. Again, look how, fa look how far off he's playing against Mooney. And look how easy he is to get in his break in his route there. I mean, my God, dude. My God. Walmart General Content Creators won't bring that up. Because they don't know the game of football. They just don't know. They just see what they see on Madden 25 and the stats, and they think that's football. It's not. Or the highlight reels. Sorry, the highlights. They consider that film, and it's not film. Again, look at that. You gave Mooney all that time to run a crisp route, a little hitch route in the middle of the field, and you're over here doing your best uh, Justin Simmons impersonation. It's not me hating on Patrick Sertan. It's the type of just force feeding, thinking this guy's an elite corner. The guy has a lot, has some weaknesses that you guys will not fucking bring up. So myself has to come on here and do a fucking film breakdown yet again to prove you guys wrong again and to show how stupid you guys look. They're attacking him specifically. They are targeting him specifically. Kareem Jackson does a fucking poor job on this play covering. He does the best he can, but a goddamn man, you don't have Patrick Sertan there? Like, come on, dude. Come on, Sertan. But you got your money, right? Okay, here he is. Again, attack him again. Look how far he's playing off. <laughs> God. A little read option there. Good tackle by Alex Singleton. Well, it's the coverage call that they're getting. Okay, well, again, let's go back to the video where they're attacking him with Mooney and attacking him with more. Then why isn't he instinctually breaking on the route when it's clear that he has that it's right there for him to break on that said route? That's a good tackle. That's how you used to tackle back in the day. That was more consistent, though. All right, again, look, Patrick Sertan. Here we go. Next play. Look how far off he's playing. Yeah, just stand there. Just stand there, buddy. Don't don't hurt yourself. This isn't this isn't football. This is Pop Warner flag football, right? Just stand there. Just look at the play while your other teammates are you know gang tackling the dude. Yeah, don't go balls to the walls. You're Patrick Sertan. You got your money. All right, here he is. Again, look how far off. I would attack him. Attack him. Look how far off he's playing. Again, 10, 15 yards off. Targeting his side of the field again. Patrick, and you see what I'm talking about? You're playing this far off first and foremost. Okay. And you're giving this guy all the room. Mmm. Yeah, that guy's a great corner. Why are they targeting him and having success on his side of the field?
Again, the elite corners, I'm talking about the Baileys, the Shermans, Richard Shermans of the world, the Darrell Rivas, they would have broke on that route instinctually. My God. And that is a first down, folks. On whose side of the field? Not that side, this side. You know, and I also want to show something as well. Watch this corner playing. Watch this right here. Watch this corner. Look, look, look at that. Damari Mathis actually makes. That's actually how you're supposed to play fucking corner. Look at that. Look at the difference between Mathis on this play and Sertan. Look, boom, flip your hips. There. That's how you do it. And you see Sertan. Are they attacking Damari Mathis up here? Or are they attacking Patrick Sertan? Darnell Mooney yet again, and I said he struggles with the underneath routes. Did I not say that? I did. You can go back to my draft analysis on Denver Broncos Mile High View that you guys won't go look at because if it was a quarterback, you that would have had 15, 20K views. I guarantee you this one will have a good viewer rate because it's Patrick Sertan. It's in the fucking corner. But if I did an offense alignment, oh, 100 views. Attacking Sertan. Oh, but but Sertan's a great player. He's the best. Hall of Fame level. All right, here he is, right here. I would attack him again. First down. So the refs didn't give Mooney the first down there. Yeah, yeah. All right, first down. All right, Patrick Sertan yet again attacks Sertan. That's what I would do. I formation number 19 comes in motion. I would attack Sertan here if I was the Bears. I just can relentlessly attack Sertan. Here he is. Look how far he's playing off, folks. A little halfback toss. Missed tackle by Drew Sanders. Poor tackling angle by him. This, uh, to this top 10 defense with 48 sacks. In nine years. Wow, that's 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 an elite level 2015 level Orange Crush defense right there. Those 48 sacks in nine years. My God. All right, here we go. Finally, Sertan's playing man-to-man -man coverage. All right, I like it. Here we go. That's a good job by Sertan. I will give him that. Good job by Sertan. Again, the, the problem is here still is he doesn't keep his eyes on him at all. He has help over the top with Kareem Jackson. Something that Justin Simmons never provided Patrick Sertan. You know, I remember when Tlaib and Harris were in Denver. I remember when Champ Bailey. The one thing that's... That, took them apart from guys like Patrick Sertan is they always kept their eyes on the quarterback. So, you know, that's that's decent enough coverage. Is that elite level coverage? No, not really, because, again, you could still see some of the uh, stiffness in Patrick Sertan. But I will give Sertan that play. He won that, he won that rep. And they still attack Sanders. <sighs> we got elite level linebackers, folks. My God. Mooney had a good game against the Walmart Generals, too. Against that 48 sack unit. <laughs> Three wide receiver sets. God, I can't believe Walmart General fans are that stupid. Three wide receiver sets. Here we go. Sertan, bottom of your screen. I would be attacking Sertan. If that was me, I'd be attacking him. He's open. Oh, Damari Mathis got owned on that play. Oh, no, that's McMillan. Sorry. Look at that protection. Look at that protection, man. I wish we had protection like that consistently. McMillan got owned against DJ Moore. 
Look at that protection, man. Yeah, that 48 sack unit by the Walmart Generals. We really had a Walmart General uh, General comment on Denver Broncos Mile High Views last video because the reason why it's going up in views is because Geno Smith is a thumbnail because it's a quarterback. But look at all that protection that Justin Fields got. And then McMillan just got absolutely fucking owned. No help over the top by Delaney Turner Yale. Does his best Justin Simmons impersonation. God, that guy sucks. So happy he's gone. All right, next series for the Chicago Bears. Oh, flag. All right, next series. Here we go. Pistol set formation. Look how far off Sertan's playing. I'd be attacking Sertan on this play. Here he is, wide open. Oh, man. Oh, Sertan, Sertan, Patrick Sertan. Wow. He tried. He just doesn't have the... Again, what did I say? What have, what have I fucking said about Sertan throughout this entire film breakdown? I said the guy's recognition ability, the guy's makeup ability, the guy's instinctuality is not that good. And you see that here. You fucking see that they're attacking him again. And they have success. Booyah! Booyah! And Walmart Journal fans are convinced this guy is better than the great champ Bailey and Louie Wright. Get the fuck out of here! You guys suck as a fan base! That's why I'm more excited to watch college football than this fucking garbage each week. Because you defend players like that! Well, he has a great Madden 25 rating. Fuck your ratings. Fuck your stats. Fuck them. Look how far off he plays and it gives up something like that. I tried telling you. You idiot Walmart General fans of Dove Valley. Every fucking time I do a film breakdown, I say, hey, this is what's going to happen. Booyah, booyah, and look what happens when he's playing this far off. He's giving up this much room. But big coverage. That's what you need to do, Sertan. Not this 10, 15 yards off Justin Simmons shit. God, I'm tired of you people defending shitty fucking overrated players. Sick of it. Guys aren't real Denver Bronco fans. You are Walmart General piss poor fucking fans. And this fucking front office is the fucking nucleus of that shit. Because they hype up and give over con overpaid contracts and shit like this. Sick of it. He's not better than Akeem Tlaib. He's not better than Chris Harris. He's not better than Champ Bailey. He sure as hell ain't better than the great Louis Wright. So get the fuck out of here with your stats highlight based bullshit. Terrible fucking coverage from both Sertan and Alex Singleton. Which you guys, oh my god, Alex Singleton. The great Alex Singleton. Look at that piss poor fucking coverage. By both Sertan and fucking Singleton. God, I'm sick of you fuckers. Oh, yeah, this is a great play by Sertan. He got his money. He got his fucking money. So, go put all your resources to a fucking corner. Don't, don't, don't worry about the defensive line that fucking sucks. Don't worry about the linebackers that suck. Let's go pay a fucking overhyped corner and Patrick... Sir oh, my God. That is like Justin Simmons against Baltimore a few years ago. Against Mark Andrews that Chopped Liver brought up. And you guys defend that shit. Get the fuck out of here.
Yeah, yeah. Go screen record what I just said, you Walmart general content creators. Go watch my film breakdown and then sit there and fucking tell me that this guy is a Champ Bailey S corner. Next play, bump and run coverage. There you go, Sertan. You're not playing 10 yards off. God, the NFL such a joke. The Walmart Generals are a fucking joke. That 48 sack unit, baby. Guys, just lie out of your fucking ass. Pisses me off. Sick of you people lying to me. And you know what? You'll have these Walmart General content creators defend that shit. And then you guys will go over there and fucking defend them. Like they've been right for nine years. Those people haven't been fucking right in nine fucking years. And you attack people like myself, the great bubble man, and chop the liver. Why? Because we actually want football that's hard hitting. That players go balls to the walls. And actually have to prove it on the fucking field? Look at all that time. Mooney's open. Mo Dude, fucking ace. Ugh. He was wide open again. Against Sertan. Oh my god. This fucking defense. Delaney Turner yelled. I'm so happy he's gone. Oh, you remember that? You remember that, Walmart General fans? When you were defending him coming out of college? Oklahoma, out of Oklahoma, and I did a film breakdown of him at Denver Broncos Mile High View, and you guys told me how wrong and how stupid and how I don't know the game of football, and then look what happened. He got fucking cut two years later because he fucking sucks. And also, you know who know, you know what you want to know another thing here too. Watch Sertan at the bottom of your screen again against underneath fucking routes. Oh, yeah, uh, Alex Singleton, my God, he's like Randy Gratishar. You guys are fucking stupid. Look at all that time. Yeah, that 48 sack fucking unit, baby. Look at that. Look at that 48 sack unit. I just want to go back. I just want to, I just want to go back and pitcher and fucking pitcher. Because the Walmart General Content Creators ain't going to show you this shit. Look at the bottom of your fucking screen. Look at that. Oh, yeah, Champ Bailey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Patrick Tan is sure as hell better than Champ Bailey. You think Champ Bailey would have gave up this much fucking ground on a fucking hitch route? A five-yard fucking hitch route? Get the fuck out of here. Guys disrespecting the great Champ Bailey, one of my favorite players in Denver Broncos history like that. Fuck you. You guys aren't Denver Bronco fans. You are Walmart General fans. Make your fucking diss videos. Make all that shit you want. But at the end of the fucking day, the film doesn't fucking lie. You mentally ill Walmart General fans and you front office. I don't know fucking shit that have been in there since 2017. That keep drafting overhyped shitty fucking players and getting rid of the good ones. Fucking morons. So sick of you people defending mediocre, overhyped players. And then giving them max contracts and saying, oh, they did something for the past three, four years. Get the fuck out of here. Akeem, Akeem Tlaib and Chris Harris were more impactful corners than Patrick Sertan. I said it. I don't give a fuck if that pisses you off, Walmart General fans. Go watch them back in that day. Go watch Champ Bailey against Terrell Owens, Chad Ochocinco. Real fucking receivers. Uh, Randy Moss. Go watch that shit. When football is actually played. Sertan play man-to-man -man coverage there. <laughs> this defense sucks. Yeah, that, that 48 sack unit, man. Woohoo! God, you guys are just so mentally ill. 
All right, man-to-man -man coverage at the bottom of your screen. I formation, two wide receivers, one tight end. 19 comes in motion here. I'd run it again. <laughs> oh, you got to fucking love it, man. You got to love it. Good coverage by Sertan, but still the one thing that, again... Again, this the, the cornerback game is so fucking neutered in today's NFL. Again, what makes elite corners is keeping everything in front of you and fucking having your eyes on the fucking quarterback. And what's still funny is they're attacking on his side of the fucking field. They're drawing up specific plays to target his side of the field. Again, it's just... So done with it. So done with it. I, I don't know how many times I have to tell you folks that every fucking time that Champ Bailey was on the field, that Tlaib Harris, Darrell Rivas, Louis Wright, the great corners in NFL history, what they were so good at was keeping their eyes on the quarterback and keeping everything in front of them. And offense coordinators then did not draw up consistently throughout a fucking game to a target his side of the field. And Marat Mathis just gets absolutely fucking beat. Because Mathis is another one of those players that fucking sucks. That you people overhyped coming out of Pittsburgh. And I said, no, he sucks. Look how easy the Bears are moving up and down the field on this top 48 sack unit. Again, I would attack him again. Look how far off he's playing. Oh, now he's coming down. Man to man, bumping red. I tap. Right open. He's open. There you go. Again, the play recognition from Sertan is so fucking terrible. I, I mean, this guy's play recognition is... Again, look what he's doing. Again, look what he's fucking doing. He's not keeping his eyes on the quarterback. He's not keeping his eyes on the quarterback. He's not keeping anything in front of him. My God. And they're targeting whose side of the field? Are they targeting Mathis' side of the field here? Or are they targeting Sertan's? Just a question. And you guys will come up with some another stupid fucking excuse for it. That's what you guys like to do. The Walmart General's front office is just as bad as this mentally ill fan base. That is riddled with uneducated Walmart General fans. Next play, I would attack him again. How far off he's playing? Oh, yeah, to run the ball. 48 sack unit, baby. Look at that 48 sack unit. God, you fucking... Oh, man. Walmart General fans love this type of football. They love it. They love it. God. Here he is. Man to man. Good. I formation. I'd still attack him. Little fade route in the end zone there. Well, that's a flag. Kareem Jackson. I want to watch that play again. Okay, there we go. You know what's funny? Is people like to say that Sauce Gardner's a holding merchant. Watch Sertan on this play. He's holding him right there. If that's not a holding merchant, I don't know what is. People like to say that Sauce Card is a holding merchant. Man, you guys are really uneducated. Wow, you guys are very uneducated individuals. That is holding to the... That is, should have been holding. But give it to fucking Cream Jackson. 
All right, I formation, two wide receivers. Wide fucking open. Wide, he's still wide open. Throw it to him. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. This linebacking course sucks. Yeah, that 48 sack. Oh my god, Nick Burrito sucks. Wide open. And also, he was wide open too. And he's Again, he's holding him. Look at, oh my God, he sucks. And that is touchdown for the Chicago Bears. So, again, folks, give him, give him that contract. I mean, prototypical, give it, give it to the Walmart Generals for overpaying a corner, you know, because that's all they invest in is corners, receivers, quarterbacks, and they're always fucking wrong. Nick Burrito looks like shit. This linebacking core looks like shit. This 48 sack. 48 sacks. Sertan, again, getting away with holding. Again, this guy still has weaknesses that nobody likes to bring up. People saying, oh my god, he's such a refined corner. He's not. He's not a Champ Bailey. He's not a Louis Wright. He's not a Tlaib. He's not a Harris. He's not a Revis. He's not a Richard Sherman. He's none of those. He's none of those players. Stop it. Stop it. And if you are defending players like this, then... You're uneducated. And to be perfectly honest with you, the NFL is such a dead product and a pussified product and a flag football product. Just get rid of the defensive line, put a center, put five wide receivers, put five corners, and one linebacker. That's all you got to do. Or you know what? Just get rid of the linebacker. Because it's all about corners, receivers, and quarterbacks. It's all it is now. It's all it is. And it just makes me fucking sick. So this is my film breakdown on the All-22. You hear that, Walmart General Content Creators? The All-22 film breakdown on Patrick Sertan.